Good morning, YouTube. This is Johnny. Gonna make a video this morning. It is 9.16 in the death flow. It is a Wednesday morning. It is February the 6th, 2019. Yeah. Had an ice storm last night, so I looked out the out the back the front door and there's ice sickles on everything. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make a video because yesterday I knew there's gonna be bad weather today, today Wednesday, and yesterday was Tuesday. So I was reading that Larry McMurtry memoir books about book hunting and I went out book hunting yesterday. I went thrift stores not around where we live but north of Holland just you know they're not far away like Salvation Army, Goodwill, Africa's Child and I went to the Gateway Center again and I found these thrift store finds. I found this memoir, uh, A Ticket to the Circus, Norris Church Mailer. And she was the, the last wife of Norman Mailer, the American writer. She was married to him for about over 30 years up until his death. And this is her memoir. As you all know, I collect the writings, biographies of Norman Mailer. So uh, I got this. There's a picture of Norrin Mailer and her when they first met here in the back. And uh, so I got that. I like memoirs, especially of um, of authors or writers or painters that I collect. And I collect Norman Mailer and this is the memoir of his last wife. I found this novel, Three Day Road, by Joseph Bowden. He is, uh, I think, a Canadian writer. And I had, an, uh, it says here, in this powerful and memorizing debut, Joseph Bowden reinvents the tradition of the Great War epic. The Great War is the First World War. Like All Quiet on the Western Front and Birdsong, I have Birdsong too, which is by Sebastian Falcon. Uh, in 1919, Niska, an Oje Cree medicine woman, has left her home in the bush of northern Ontario to retrieve Xavier Bird, her only relation, who has returned from the trenches of Europe. Recounts how he and, how he and his best friend Elijah Whiskey Jack prowl the battlefields as snipers of enormous skill and how the circumstances of their deadly craft led them to very different fates. Todd with unblinking focus, this is a stunning tale of brutal brutality, survival and rebirth that marks the revival of a prodigious new talent. Well, I already had a novel by Joseph Biden this is his second novel I have, Through the Black Spurs, winner of the Scots Bank Gilder Prize, He's a, which is a Canadian literary prize, author of The Third Day Road. So I got those, I got this yesterday at Salvation Army. Then I picked up a novel by Wilkie Collins, no name. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think, you know, I mentioned McSweeney, that uh, big uh, fat novel by Adam Levine, uh, The Instructions. Well, I did find a, a, a McSweeney edition number 15, which is devoted to Atlantic writers, short stories. So I got that, see, you know. There's a McSweeney, this is issue 15. So I got that yesterday. I, Salvation Army, and then I found this Emil Durkenheim on suicide. I already had his famous book, The Elements and Forms of Religious Life by Emil Durkenheim, but they're translated out of German. 
Then I found The Pleasures of the Imagination, English Culture <clears throat> in 18th Century by John Brewer. This was really a fine, probably the best thing I found in my book hunting. It's really a, it's really a beautiful book, the way it's illustrated. Uh, it was only like a dollar, this book. Um, you know, kind of illustrations and... It's really a nice book. It's really a hardback. It wasn't a library reject. Somebody owned it and gave it to the... I think I got it at Goodwill. It's really a nice book. It's really a, a fine, you know, it's a dollar and the book goes, I think, for like forty dollars. Looks in perfect condition. And then I found the letters of Joseph P. Kennedy, who was the father of John F. Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy. The uh, Hostage to a Fortune, the letters of Joseph P. Kennedy, edited by Amanda Smith. Amanda Smith is the daughter of one of the sisters of John F. Kennedy, Jean Kennedy Smith. I have, you know, I collect books on the Kennedys, and this, I have this biography on Joseph P. Kennedy, The Patriarch, The Remarkable Life and Turbulent Times of Joseph P. Kennedy by David Nashaw. So I can put these together. I was looking at these last night, very interesting. And then, as I mentioned, in my, I'm a California, I'm a West Coast, California kind of guy. And I found this, like, history, travel memoir of California, Big Dreams into the Heart of California, by Bill Boltrich. And that was uh, recommended by Larry McMurtry, Richard Ford, and Robert Stone, who I all collect. Their, well, I don't collect... Laurie McMurtry, just his memoirs, but I collect, I just finished reading a, a novella by Richard Ford, and I have all the works of Robert Stone in my main study. Uh, so, it was only, you know, it's only, a, you know, a dollar. So. so, those are my thrift store finds. I, I want to put these down on the lower level. I was down there this morning putting away books getting all my crap together and yeah this morning I don't feel like reading I'm kind of just kind of out of it this morning um, last night I read Ninth Street Women by Mary Garrell my wife went to a class on pain management this morning at the hospital and then she might meet a friend for lunch and I don't plan to do anything today I'm kind of out of it I was writing in my diary this morning. Uh, I'm, uh, I wrote on page 107. So I don't know. I, probably after I make this video, I'm going to go sit in the dark and doze. I haven't been sleeping lately. <coughs> I can't go to sleep at night lately. <coughs> I don't know why. It's kind of weird. It's like... I don't, nothing's really bothering me. I don't really feel dread or depressed or freaked out. I just kind of like, just can't get to sleep at night. Maybe I should just not drink any coffee or any tea after 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh, so anyway... That's my uh, Wednesday thrift store finds. I can put these down on the lower level, put them away. Oh, I did get two books in the mail today, yesterday, but I don't have them next to me. I had two books come in the mail, two novels I had ordered. But I'll show those in a future video. Because uh, one of the books was a, was a debut historical fiction, and one was by the Australian writer Peter Carey, who I collect and who I want to read more in the future. So I'll sign off. Hope you're having a good week. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And until next time, bye.